God bless. You're on the air. Hello? Yes, go right ahead. Hey, Pastor Vogel, thank you very much. My name's Tommy, and uh, I just have been listening to your program at night, and I wanted to call in and, and see if I could get you to pray for the place that I work at. I'm, I work for a place called Eastwood Recovery Center here in Southfield, Michigan. It's a place for men to come in with substance abuse and alcoholism issues. I'm a recovering addict myself. I, I gave my life over to God four and a half years ago, and I haven't touched a drink or a drug since then. But the place that I'm working at, we got a lot of people who are dealing with a lot of demons and a lot of really, really tough things outside of their own substance abuse issues. And I can feel the spiritual warfare going on there sometimes. And sometimes clinical and medical things aren't the way to treat these people. And I feel very alone. And I want to be able to give these men the best opportunity they can to change their lives. <laughs> and I'm feeling very overwhelmed. And uh, like sometimes I'm there alone and God's not with me. And I don't want to walk away from this job. I feel like I was put here for a reason. And I could just use some extra prayers. This facility could use some extra prayers. And so could uh, the men that are there right now. Uh, some prayers for healing. Please. I'm going to ask others to pray for you, too. And uh, you're at what age in your working moment? I'm 35. A young man, hallelujah. May God give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding that makes everything work better. We'll pray. God bless you. Dear God, be with this one that wants to be a blessing to others. Give him your blessing. Minister to all of his moment, and we shall thank you. Bring us all further than where we are. Bring us on in a blessed way. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. Yea, we come to thank you for this moment now. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. Bring us further, blessed in a fresh manner. In Jesus' name, grant it, and we shall th thank you now. And the phone number is 313-838-1035. Again, that phone number, 313 313- 838-1035. And um, thanking God for this moment. I'm going to ask the station, how many calls do we have now? Callers, if you want to give out the number again, go ahead. Uh, right, thank you for that. We're going to take a call. And then it'll be time for station identification. Taking uh, our call at this moment. God bless. You're on the air. Good evening, Pastor Bogle. Um, I'm just calling in. Uh, I would like prayer for my wife and I from A to Z and also an unspoken request for myself. And uh, I'm just trusting the Lord that the financial needs of the ministry will be met. And um, uh, thank you, Pastor Bogo. God bless you. I thank you for what you're bringing to this moment. I'm asking God that you would bless this one exceedingly minister to all that is in his moment a word that is reaching thee bless him in his prayer moment bring him further 
than where he is. Blessed exceedingly, minister in this moment, and we shall thank you. Bring us further than where we are. Grant it, God, and we're here to thank you now. And uh, we're going to take a call, <clears throat> and uh, we don't have any call at all. All right, we need a call to come in real quick because uh, after the next call, it will be time for station identification. And so I'm going to ask that the station could have a call that they could tell me about that would come in. May God give us that kind of a blessing and we shall thank you. All right, uh, put the missionary on next, okay? Pastor Boga, thank you so very much. It's, uh kind of got me a little rattled tonight, and I thought when I heard him say that you didn't have a call, I said, oh, yeah, they got one now. We just want to come in and reiterate. I first want to thank uh, Brother Ray from Tennessee, uh, Wayne from Tennessee, for such a beautiful prayer for for both you and Night Vision. God bless him. The Bible study, fiction, program, prayers of the righteous avail us much. And we thank God for that prayer. Now we urge upon everyone to please, uh, let's uh, find in your heart to make a donation offering to Night Vision. I'm going to start with the website address. It was on my mind. I just know now at this crucial time that if you could donate online, the uh, money could be allocated, and we would know uh, to even some tomorrow night how much can come in. If you could just make a donation uh, between now and the next broadcast, that would be good. Give us some more insight about where we stand. Go to www.pastorboga.com. Don't worry about the uppercase or lowercase. Just type in your search engine, www.pastorboga.com. Boga.com. Using a credit card or debit card, you insert your information where it says donate. It's really quick, it's fast and efficient, and your information is secure. And we ask that you do that right away because we need the funds to come in for night vision. Our Bible tells us to ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. We're only just doing what God has asked us to do. Now, you can still send in your money. Some people are just uh, old school and they <clears> like <throat> to mail their money in. They're not so computer savvy. We understand. Get your checks in the mail right away as soon as possible. Help us out. Stand uh, with Night Billion. Let's keep Night Billion on the air. You can make your checks and money or it's payable to Night Billion. P.O. Box 39241, uh, Detroit, Michigan, 48239. Once again, send all checks and money orders. Make your orders, money orders, not checks, payable to Night Vision. That's one word all together, capital N-I-G-H-T, capital V, as in victory, I-S-I-O-N, Night Vision, P.O. Box 39241, Detroit, Michigan, 48 239, uh, P.O. Box 39241, I'm sorry, Detroit, Michigan, the zip code 48239. So this is always given the mail address at the beginning and the ending of uh, the broadcast. But we want to let you know that if there's a dire need and you really need to get some help, you can call the off-air prayer line number, leave an urgent message, and Pastor Dave will call you because he checks the phone. Air record 248-702-7378. Uh, for Friday night, you can utilize it big time. Air record 248-702-7378. And Pastor, we uh, want to do something special 
hopefully tomorrow early on as the Lord will lead us, we want to see if we can't do something like a fun, uh, kind of like broadcast to find out how many going to be sending in. That will give us some indication. If you promise, please do it. Uh, we might need, need our help. And we're going to be calling back a little later. But there's a lady named Faith uh, Kate, needing somewhere to stay. If she would call the broadcast and uh, leave her number, I have some a wealth of information for her. There's a lot of apartments available on East Jefferson for senior citizens. She said she has to move right away. So I did some research today, but she has to call the broadcast back now and leave her number for me, and I'll give her a call and give her this information that I have. Some paid places that are available for senior citizens, and they take your application, and they, you pay according to your uh, finance, how much money you get a month. That's the way they do, but you have to submit an application to the senior citizen complex. Thank you, Pastor Bob. We're going to call back now. Ask call back uh, two times we'll, in this we will. last hour, it's, will you? It's urgent. We will do, Pastor. We're going to get on this and stay on it. God bless you. I'll call you right back. Uh, you know, after the view uh, station ID, and you bless the water. I will be calling right back. Thank you. And God Thank bless. you so much. And so call twice tonight still. But it's time for station identification now. WMUZ Detroit, WRDT Monroe, Detroit. Buy an HD radio and experience amazing crystal clear digital sound. And listen online at WMUZ.com or WRDT560.com. And um, we are in the second half of uh, prayer time tonight. And... Um, I trust that uh, we can have calls coming in, and the phone number is 313-838-1035. Again, the number is 313-838-1035. We need calls to come in quickly, but thanking God, we do have one call. God bless. You're on the air. Good morning, Pastor Vogel. Talk louder. It's your moment. Good morning, Pastor Vogel. This is uh, Sister Angela calling in, and I just want to know can we please partake of the water? I thank God for what you have asked for because I need that blessing. And um, I'll be praying for it, but I want to pray for you first. What can we pray for you about? Yes, well, I'm praying for uh, Sister Kirchner, Sister Kiki, Missionary Moore, also Blind Brenda, also Mother Mary, Sister Shirley. And also Sister Martha, and also Brother Brother Ray, Brother uh, Wayne from Tennessee, and also um, Brother Hallelujah. Wilson. I'm sorry. Well, now Dear, I'll visit you pray for the water. Dear Father, be with this daughter and all that she prays to you. Let every bit of it be blessed in a marvelous way but god in this moment responding to the request that we would pray for the water and i'm so thankful that the water we drinks make all of the lungs and all the breathing do better the water we drinks let all that needs to leave the body get out in a blessed way. And so let us be blessed drinking the water. Give us that kind of a blessing and we shall thank you. Yea, we come into this moment thanking you now. 
bring us further in this moment. But Lord, I'm asking wherever there's pain in the body, it's an area that needs your touch. And be with those in the stomach area that pain is real. Let there be a blessed moment. And God, also, I'm asking that you would be with those that need to lose weight. Let us be blessed to lose the weight that isn't a benefit. Bring our weight down where it's not a benefit. Grant it, God, in this moment. And we shall thank you now. And I'm going to cut the microphone for about a minute so I can drink the water and uh, have God's blessing. Thanking God for this moment now. But I'll cut the microphone for about a minute and then quickly return. I have returned. And uh, we're in the second half of night vision prayer time and uh, then when we get to the finish of this hour we'll be going into the message and uh, asking that calls would be coming in the phone number is 313-838-1035. I'll ask the station, how many calls do we have right now? You have no call. I'm so glad I asked. I thought we had one. Be sure and let me know as soon as a call has appeared, okay? And um, the phone number is 313-838-1035. Again, that number... 313-838-1035. And uh, I want to take this moment waiting for a call and uh, looking at a scripture, James... Chapter 4 and verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. I love that. <clears throat> draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. May God help us not to be double-minded. And James chapter 1 and verse 8, a double-minded man is unstable 
in all his ways. We have to understand that when we're with double-mindedness, that we're in trouble. And then in First Chronicles chapter 10 and verse 12, Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Even when you're thinking you're doing pretty good, you got to understand God keep me from falling. Granted, Lord, and I will thank you now. And uh, another scripture, Romans twelve twenty one, be not, huh? You have four callers. How many? Four. I'm glad what you're saying. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Hallelujah. Thank God. And one more scripture in Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, <clears throat> but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that she may prove what is that good and acceptable, perfect will of God. And I'll ask the station again. You said something to me. What was that again? You have five callers. Thank God for God's blessing. Taking uh, our next call at this moment god bless you're on the air hi pastor Baldwin. hello daughter of the lord <clears throat> this is sister gertrude and i'm calling in for prayers to sister angie kiki the beautiful wow she's Awesome. The beautiful missionary lady, Missionary Moore, and Brenda, Brother Ray, Brother Jerome, and I was so happy to hear Brother Wayne's voice on the phone. Oh, I was so happy to hear Brother Wayne. And just, um, God bless all of us. And, uh, Pastor Mogul, you are doing a tremendous job. Uh, like uh, Missionary Moore said, you know, uh, they love her so much. And she said, we, she's really, we're really going to get night vision together. And she's more than willing. And, uh, you know, just bless you and your family, sir. And may the Lord bless all of us. And I have an unspoken prayer request, sir. And Can you pray that prayer? You sound so close to the Lord. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to say the greatest prayer in the world. And that prayer is, may the Lord bless all of us from A to Z. How about that? Beautiful. <laughs> God be with this daughter that wants you to bless all. I thank you for what's in her spirit and give her that kind of a moment that's blessed exceedingly. Thank you, God, that your daughters are close to thee in our time of living, that women are doing more than ever before in everything, at work, at home, at ministry. Thank you, God, that women have been able to come so far bring us further in this moment and we shall thank you 
bring us further than where we are. In Jesus' name, we thank you now. <clears throat> Taking our next call at this moment, God bless you on the air. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Pastor Bobo. Oh, praise the Lord indeed. It's your moment. Go right ahead. Yes, sir. This is Brother Ray, Pastor Bobo. And uh, I got a couple of prayer requests, but uh, first I'd like to read the Romans 5 1 to everyone. Being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. I like that scripture. It's just one that really can touch your heart. And I also like the, my favorite scriptures in Zechariah 4 6. And Jehovah God, Lord, said to Zerubbabel, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And my Lord is all that I can know that I can depend on. Not no man, not no anybody in power, just my God, my Jesus. He can change anything. He can make everything right, turn the life around. Whatever the problems are, we all need to come to him. I thank all the brothers and sisters that are reaching out and saying hello to everyone. And I want to say hello to all of you. And thank you for praying for me, lifting me up. And I lift you up also in Jesus' mighty name. And i just like to just pray for, for Night Vision and, and you, Pastor Bobo, and, and pray for the lost. Is it okay, Pastor Bobo? Beautiful. I want you to pray. But we are short in this moment. Mm -hmm. uh, we're short 15000 $200. Would you pray that the need could be met? We're going to pray for that, and we'll include my sister and my nephew. We're going to drive in the morning uh, to uh, Kansas, Missouri, Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, he's got some kind of problem with the divorce, and his children are over there with his wife, soon be ex wife. But we're just going to pray that uh, God takes care of them on the way there. And, uh, I'm going to stay, stay with me in this prayer. Go ahead and pray. We come to you tonight for your word says, for two or three are gathered in my name, I am in the midst of them. The great I am, we call upon you. Lord of Lords, King of Kings, our celestial Father, our healer, our deliverer, our lawyer, our all, we call on you. We reach out and touch the hem of your garment, Heavenly Father to receive from you in plenitude all your promises, <clears throat> healing, deliverance, and everything in abundance. And we pray for all of the listeners and all they can give with all their heart, as the word says, blessed are the kind and generous giver. Let us all be kind and generous givers and keep night vision on air. Lord, even for those of us who don't have anything, if you're going to supply our need, as your word says, by God will supply all my needs according to the riches of glory. By Lord Jesus Christ, lifted in his four, 19, I believe it is. And yes, Jesus, I pray for everyone to be blessed of you and that everyone is going to just do their best. And those of you that got a lot, give a lot and be blessed a lot. Those who got a little bit, give a little bit, be blessed a little bit. And then you're going to see it grow. And let us just say, thank you, Jesus. And I pray for Pastor Bogle. And his wife Shirley and his children, whatever problems Pastor Bogle may have, physical or whatever, Lord, you guide him, touch him, heal him from top of his head, toes to his feet. And I pray for Shirley, give her the strength. Hallelujah, a wonderful couple they are that never stop serving you and still keep on glorifying your name and magnifying your name, exalting your name, and being an example for all of us. Hallelujah. And I pray for our night vision family, every single one that I can recall. The missionary, the messenger, Brother Wayne, truck driver Dan, truck driver Vicky, and all the other truck drivers. I don't know if I can remember all their names. Sister Gertrude, Martha, Patty, all my sisters and brothers that call upon me, and Brian Blinda. Lord, take care of her. Jerome, guide them, guide our steps, Lord, as we pray for this spiritual bread. 
that you're going to give us our bread of life for our daily walk with you, Jesus. That we shall say thank you, Jesus. And we know, we decree it in your mighty name that it is finished, it is done. And we can just say, boom, there it is. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In your most holy trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Can God bless you on the road to, to Kansas, Lord. Amen. Thank you so very much. And uh, may you continue to be brought further in the Lord. Yes, sir. God bless you. Just pray for my walk with the Lord. I can stay in the school of the Holy Spirit on a daily basis and keep on staying focused on his word and on his coming. And uh, we're short for this month, $8,916. Can you pray that we'll have this need met? Yes, sir. We're going to pray for that, too. Lord, Pastor Bogan puts the request on me, and I don't mind. Lord, who are my Savior? By your grace, I'm still here, Lord Jesus. Everyone can hear my voice, but by your grace, I'm still here. I'm not a perfect person, Lord, but I am someone that you chose. I didn't choose you. You chose me. I thank you for it. And I know that you can hear my words, Heavenly Father, that this need for night visions, funds will be met. Will be met. It will be met. We decree it that all can hear my voice. And those that have a lot are going to say, I'm going to give that money. <laughs> and they're going to see the blessing. And we say, in your name, Jesus, in your mighty name, hallelujah. There's nothing more powerful than your name. By your blood, Jesus, hallelujah. You pay the price for us among Calvary's cross by the stripes of yourself for us to be healed. And Lord Jesus, you said, ask anything in my name, and it shall be given to you. And in your mighty name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we know that you're going to give us this little thing because nothing is impossible for you. It's a small thing for you. It's a big thing for us, but it's a small thing for you, Lord. And we know you can just say, it is finished. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. I exalt your name. I lift up your name. Of all names. Thank you, Jesus. Your name is magnified from now and forever. You're worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Great and merciful God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Continue to serve the Lord. God bless you, I pray. And uh, I'm going to ask the station again, how many calls do we have? How many? Thank you for that. Taking uh, our next call at this moment. God bless. You're on the air. Pastor Boba, this is Missionary Moore, and I'm calling back again just to reiterate on uh, the call. Some, perhaps some um, just tuned in, and as we can see, the calls are picking up for tonight. But I want the sentiment of all the people that are praying for night vision that we'll declare and decree, and that God is going to meet the need for night vision. I thank God for all the passionate, uh, the, all the callers who are praying passionately uh, for night vision. Uh, before I give the mailing address, I want to ask if everyone out in Radio Land could pray for them. I had a friend today that she fell. She walked off of her porch, and it was so slippery, and broke her leg in two places down near the ankle. She's in receiving hospital. <clears throat> and this morning, they were going to put a pin in it. You know how they do it to uh, get it going back again. So she's a church person, so please pray for her. She's very active in her church. A little on the heavy side, she slipped and fell, and uh, they took her to receive, and then they, uh, we checked on her. And this morning, they were going to do what they can do, put the pin in, and... Uh, She'll be laid up for, for six to eight weeks, but do pray for her. 
All right, to the nature of the call that I'm I'm calling, I'd like to ask Sister Kay if she's listening. I need her phone number so I can give her this information. She says she has to move or she'll be put out by February 15th. So there's a lot of senior citizen places available on uh, East uh, Jefferson in the senior citizen complex. One of them have a, a lot of floors, but they go by your income. So if you have to submit an application... And they'll take it from there. We ask upon you again, and we urge upon you, because God wakes us up this every morning with new mercy, new mercy. That's what Lamentation, uh, the third chapter and the 22nd verse tells us. We thank God for that. We're not consumed and, and, and done away with, but because of his mercy and his grace, he wakes us all up every morning. I'm asking everyone to find in their heart to help Night Vision, help this ministry. This is a God-ordained ministry of prayer, praise, and testimony. We have the opportunity, the blessed opportunity to call in for prayer every night. And we can call in and make our request known, and Pastor Boga will pray for us uh, fervently and passionately. And the Bible said that he blesses uh, the effectual prayers of the righteous. So we need you. Night Vision need our help right now. That's the best way I can say it. And let us step up and help Night Vision. Show our love for Night Vision. Keep it on the air. You can send your checks and your money orders. Make it payable to Night Vision. That's one word all together. Capital N I G H T, capital B. I send victory. I S I O N. Night Vision. P O Box 39241. Detroit, Michigan. The zip code is 48. 48- Two three nine. That's checks and money orders sent it to Night Vision. However, right now, if you could, uh, if you have access to a computer, have someone to do it for you, you can go to the website address and the funds are allocated right away. You can donate to make an offering online using your credit card or your debit card to Night Vision. It's a faster way, and right now we're in such a dire need, I stress to you, to go to the website address, www.pastorboba.com. Type it in your search engine. Most of us pay bills and telephones and what have you online. We even buy clothes. We purchase stuff from you being all. So it's easy to just make a donation online quicker efficient, and secure using your debit or credit card, www.pastorboga.com. Don't worry about the uppercase or lowercase. Just type it in. And uh, if you have any problem, you just can't make that happen, uh, on Friday nights you can call Pastor Dave at area code 248-702-7378. I believe he's going to be quite busy this Friday night because I believe a lot of people are going to be calling to help us get that money for night vision. Area code 248-702-7378. If you call the number, indicate that you're trying to make a donation, you need some help, he will call you back. Uh, any time, but he'll look at the messages. But on Friday night, we know for sure that he'll be there to 2.30 uh, in the morning. So do uh, do what you can do first. Try www.pastorboga.com. And we that have grandchildren and nieces and nephews, they stay on computers. They can help us do that too as well and uh, make that uh, online donation or offering using your credit card or debit card. And so we urge upon you to do that. Let's help Night Vision out. Let's help uh, Pastor Bova keep on being able to. We can call and ask for prayer because God have ordained this ministry, as so many have already said. We're going to yield the phone line so others can call in. Uh, Pastor, we're going to try to call back one more time before uh, the message tonight. But we're doing this, I want you to know, because it's an urgent need. And the Bible said, make your request known. That's what we're doing. We're asking and we're seeking and we're believing that God is going to, it's already done. So thank you, Pastor. I will be listening and I will make another call tonight before the message uh, comes around. Thank you for that. God bless you so much. Amen. All right. Talk to you a little later. All right. Amen. And um, I'm going to ask the station, uh, how many calls do we have at this moment? 
All right. Uh, taking our next call. God bless. You're on the air. Hello, Pastor Vogel. Yes. This is Sister Geraldine. I was trying to find out how I could call in and make a donation, but I already got it. But I have uh, I got it while I was waiting waiting to be next in line. I got the number to to make my donation. But I want you to I have an unspoken prayer request, and and I want to bless and pray for everybody in your ministry and all of the callers as well. Dear God, to be with this daughter that's speaking to thee. We don't need to hear it, but we're thankful she's your daughter. And whatever she's praying about, let all of it be blessed exceedingly. Bring her further than where she is, blessed in this moment. And we shall thank you. Yea, we come into this moment thanking you now. Bring us further, all of us. But God, be with night vision and let it continue. Dear God, I pray, give it a future that's blessed of thee. In Jesus' name, Grant it, but bless us all, I pray, that are serving thee, your daughters and sons, I pray. In Jesus' name, thank you for this moment. We thank you now. We truly do. And... Uh, I'm going to ask the station again, how many calls do we have? All right, uh, taking uh, our next call with Thanksgiving. God bless, you're on the air. Hello, Pastor Bogle. Yes. Yes, I just wanted to I'm calling tonight, um, and uh, so I'm so grateful. Um, I really have um, been so blessed by the ministry tonight. Um, so many people in prayer for the, you know, how God is leading in this ministry that people are, um, that brothers and sisters are really um, praying for one another, um, you know, for each for the callers that have come, that call so often. So, you know, I see God working there to make it a family ministry, you know, a ministry that's like a family. Um, but I, my prayer request to, to get to the, my, uh, to get to what is on my heart or what God put on my heart to pray, ask prayer for my church. Um, it's, uh, we've been without a pastor for more than a year now. And, um, um, I, you know, the, I, I, I feel like God showed me that, you know, that there's, there's people that, um, uh, we, we lost a, a few pastors in the past several years. So, um, you know, when that happens, sometimes people leave them and leave also and, uh, church families and, um, so it's, but it's like, uh, it reminded me of, um, God with the, the story of Gideon and, and the children of Israel, how, um, you know, the Lord narrowed the, uh, the group down to a small handful of people to serve the Lord and to, to, uh, fight in his battle. So I think that the Lord is just, um, preparing our church for, um, you know, this way to have a, so that he could be glorified through a small number of church folk. But uh, if you could pray for our church, um, praise the Lord, there is a man that's um, seeking um, and is candidating. And um, so we're praying, and if it's God's will, um, that, that that man would be um, confirmed as our pastor soon. 
his name is Jim. And um, I believe his name is Jim, so pray, praying for that. And um, also just um, along with that, that God, uh, and really that God would lead our little family to um, serve him in our church as a family, a whole group. Our, you know, my husband, my wife, excuse me, my husband, myself, and my daughter, that God would put us into the service of the Lord at the church there. That would be a wonderful miracle of the Lord. So thank you. Dear Father, thank you for what's in the heart of your daughter that wants to see your blessing upon this ministry. Bless this church by blessing all that are your daughters and sons that have come, because if they all are close to thee, you're going to bless the moment in a marvelous way. And so I'm asking that each individual that's born again could be so close to thee in their journey. Minister in this moment, and we shall thank you. Bring us further than where we are. But God, I'm asking that you would bless night vision. Let night vision be blessed. Minister to everyone that's tuned in. And thank you for each call, but not just the calls, each person that's tuned in to a prayer moment. Let each one, the sinner, the backslider, all to know that, God, you love us. And so bring us further in our journey, and we shall thank you. Yea, we come to thank you in this moment. Minister to all of us, and we're here to thank you now. And the phone number is 313-838-5433. Again, that phone number, 313-838-1035. And uh, how many calls do we have yet at this moment? All right. Uh, we need calls to come in quickly. Taking... Uh, the next call at this moment. God bless. You're on the air. Hi, Pastor Vogel. Yes. Uh, hi, Pastor Vogel. This is Sister Gertrude calling back. I have a number to give missionary more. Uh, there was a young lady named Kay that called. There was a need of a place to stay. And she mentioned that she needs to have a place by February. So I have Kay's telephone number to give uh, to Missionary Mora. Is it all right if I announce it, it give it to you on the ear while you're on the ear? Not all right. It'd be wonderful. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Thank you, Pastor Bowl. Uh, Missionary Moore, if you're still listening, I'm pretty sure you are. I have Kay's. I found out Kay's phone number, the lady who was in need of a home. Okay, now, uh, Missionary Moore, uh, Kay's number is Kay. Her name is spelled K-A-Y. And uh, her telephone number is area code 313 313- Five two three seven eight four one. Now uh, again, that phone number is area code three one three five two three seven eight four one. Uh, Pastor Roker, would you like to, me to get her phone number again? Do it again. Okay. Now Kay's number is three one three. 
All right, thank you, Pastor Bobo, and God bless all of us. May God continue to bless us all. Thank God for you. Keep serving the Lord. And uh, the phone number is 313-838-1035. And um, I'm going to ask the station again, how many calls do we have at this moment? All right. We have one caller and uh, we need calls for 15 minutes beyond that pretty well so taking uh with thanksgiving the call that is here at this moment god bless you're on the air yes God bless us all. Amen. Speak loud and it's your moment. Thank you. I would like to pray to have a special prayer for my family from A to Z. And I would also like to have an unspoken prayer request for me and my sister. And to pray for you, the Night Vision Ministry, and your family and everybody in the world and for us to to um meet the need for n night vision for this month of january in the name of jesus amen amen can you pray that prayer or i will if you don't okay i would like for you to pray it thank you pastor bogo dear god to be with this son of yours that's calling on thee and your word already says if we pray you're there to bring blessing and so bring a blessing into this moment minister and bless exceedingly and god i'm asking that we all could understand that the bible tells us if we pray when we're all by ourselves, you're there to listen and to bless so bring us further in such a moment minister to all of us and we shall thank you bring us further than where we are in jesus name grant it and we're here to thank you that you've called us to you and so thank you for that but god i'm so thankful that you've changed our name we now are your daughters and sons and so we are close to god the father thank you god for such a blessing minister to all of us and we shall thank you bring us further in this moment and we're here to thank you now and um the phone number is 313-838-1035. And that phone number, 313-838-1035. And I'll ask the station, how many calls do we have right now? All right, we need calls to come in, and uh, we've got 15 minutes. But I thank God we have one call, but we need probably three more calls to come in. 
taking uh, the call that is here. God bless. You're on the air. Yes, sir, Pastor Missionary Moore. I'm calling back once again uh, just to reiterate and give it the mailing address, but I'd like to ask if you uh, say a quick prayer for my friend that failed today and broke her leg in two places. Um, she's going to be going for operation this morning. I don't know what time. I think 6, I guess, a.m. at Detroit receiving. So if you could say a quick uh, prayer for her after I give the mail and address, I would be appreciative. Thank you so very much. We'll, we'll pray now. Okay. Dear God, be with a friend of this daughter of yours and let this one be brought into the total recovery. I ask it in Jesus' name. I'm so thankful that you love us and your word already says we shall recover. And I'm yeah. so thankful, Jesus, that yeah. you spent day after day after day healing the sick ministering to those that had needs and the religious leaders didn't have any thought that was good about you but i'm so thankful that you are god that came and are with us now with the holy spirit bring us further than where we are Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. Bring us further than where we are. Change for the better. In Jesus' name, granted God, we're here to thank you now. And, uh, thank you, thank Pastor Bowles. <laughs> And you. you wanted to give the, go ahead and give what you wanted. You haven't given the mailing address yet, have you? Oh, the call is disconnected. All right, we won't yeah. worry about that. But uh, we don't have a call. Station, do we have any calls? No calls. All right, let me know as soon as a call comes in, will you? I thank God for that. And uh, looking at God's word while I'm waiting for a call, in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Thank God. Huh? We have two All right. Uh, I think we have what's needed for tonight. Taking uh, our next call that I thank God for. God Have bless. Yes. Yeah, missionary. We got um, disconnected a couple of times. I don't know what happened. All right, I'm going to give the mail address, address quickly. And thanks for that prayer for Barbara, my friend. And I heard Sister Gertrude, I got the number. I will call Sister Kay and give her some information about where she can try to uh, make her, get her place to live. All right, uh, in case you tuned us in late, and I think a lot of people did, please make a donation to Night Vision. Go to the website address, www pastorboba.com and uh, look for the word donate click on it and uh, using your credit card or debit card you can make an offering it's quick fast and efficient and it takes only uh one to four minutes at the most 
Uh, some people might take a bath five slowly as they do it. But if you have any problems, every Friday night, the Alpha Air Prayer Line number is area code 248-702-7378. And we are aware that we are in the real, so we're asking God to touch all the hearts and the minds. Lord, move on everyone to do. Don't worry about how much. Just send in what you have. Let it all blend together as a night division family, and you'll be surprised how we can come out of this rear. You can also send your text and your money or please write to Night Vision. Uh, that's one word, capital N-I-G-H-T, capital V-S and Victory, I-S-I-O-N, Night Division. Send your texts or money orders. We need them to come in right now. P.O. Box 39241, Detroit, Michigan. The zip code is 48239. Thank you, Pastor, and we will be calling... Uh, the Lord say the same tomorrow night in an urgency to help get the money up for night vision. But in the meantime, we ask that everyone would pray to God that our night vision uh, ministry needs will be met. If everyone would do that, I believe he's a prayer hearing God. He will hear us. He's already heard us before. And he will, uh, and be, uh, do, you know, fix it well. The need can be met. We love you. We love everyone tonight. And Pastor Bogle, we're going to listen as you continue to pray until the message. God bless you. And could you pray before you hang up? Sure. sure. Eternal God. Do our that. Father, <laughs> our Father God, who sits up high and looks down low, Lord, we have a tish in your throne tonight. 